little lesson, we're going to talk just a little bit about slide guitar and how to get started in it and just a few of the basic techniques that you need to know in order to start playing slide guitar. So I'll just start uh, by telling you the different types of slides that you can get, what your options are. There's basically three options for you. You can get a metal one, a glass one, or a ceramic one. Now the differences are the way and the way in those three categories are the way the slide's gonna feel to you and the way the slide's gonna sound to you. The biggest deal to me is the way it sounds. And if you want a brighter, brassier, more metallic sound, obviously get a metal slide and you can either get like a brass one or just a chrome plated metal one. Now if you want like a smoother, a little bit warmer sound, you probably want to go with like a glass or ceramic slide. And I my, personally, I go with a glass one, obviously, and I like the thicker ones just because I travel a lot and the thicker ones don't break as much. And they give me a little more weight, too, so I can tell where I'm going. And it just feels a little bit smoother to me. So, if you want to get into slide guitar, those are your basic main options as far as what kind of slide you can get and the different tones in between them. And obviously, the, the feel of the slide is going to differ from glass to brass, to chrome plated metal or you know ceramic or whatever. So go to a music store and, and check them out. It's a really cool way that you can get a totally different sound out of your guitar for not much money. You know anywhere from probably around 10 to 15 bucks you can pick up a new slide so that's pretty cool. So let's talk just a little bit about slide technique on the guitar. And the biggest thing when you're playing slide guitar is you gotta use your ear to get your intonation to make sure you're playing in tune on your guitar. It's a lot like playing a fretless bass. So when you play, initially start playing the guitar, just practice playing in tune and using your ear to play in tune. So the, the main thing you want to do is to be right over the fret, not a little bit behind it, not a little bit above it, but right over it. And your ear, as long as you're looking at it visually and starting to practice like that, like I'm looking at my fretboard right now, and my slide is right above, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, the fifth fret. And I'm looking at that, and hopefully, is the more you do that, if you're aware of that, and you're slide playing, your ear will start to tell you. Like, there's here's right over the fret. Your ear will start to tell you if you're back here just a little bit. Just a little bit flat. To bring it up. So that's the main thing to really be aware of when you're playing slide, is to play in tune and practice playing in tune. If you do that from the beginning, your slide playing will be a lot better, and it'll be a lot more enjoyable for you and the people that have to listen to you as well. Um... Just a tip on how to get started. Just start playing and making up licks with your blues scale. I mean, the licks I was doing at the beginning of this video was just a, a blues scale lick and A blues that I made off of the blues A blues scale shapes that I made up kind of just off the cuff in two different positions. That's really not a whole lot to that. I just made up like a standard blues lick that I might play, you know, without my slide on my finger too. So that's one way you can get started into slide guitar. And if you'll notice, I use my slide on my third finger, my ring finger. Some people do it with their pinky, some people play with their first finger, middle finger, but usually it's the third finger pinky that they use the slide with. The reason I use my third finger for my slide is because I like to have my index and index and second finger back here free to play some notes if I need to, just like regular fretting without slide. And then I have my pinky up here available too to get notes above the slide too. So that's why I do that and a lot of times I won't have the slide all the way down on my finger like that I'll just have it right at the second joint so I can bend my finger over and my fingers not too restricted so I don't have to come around here like this if you had it on the second joint you can bend your finger and have a little bit more of a natural playing position too so but that's personal preference experiment with which finger you like your slide on and if you like it over the whole finger if you like it over just the second knuckle or if it's on your pinky you know it's pretty big slide here so it just kind of automatically goes down over my whole finger so mess around with that too and you know it's fun slide guitar is something that's really cheap to get into and it's something that's a lot of fun too and if you're you know like oh I'm not a slide player you know I'm not a blue slide player or whatever don't you know don't overlook it there's a lot of really cool things you can do with just like if you're recording music having slide tracks in the background it's always good to have just a little bit of slide stuff in your repertoire just in case you need to record some stuff or if you show up to a cover gig or church gig or whatever that requires some slide guitar you'll be ready for it you won't be just kind of taken by surprise by that so go out and grab you a slide i think i paid eight bucks for this one and uh 
see what she can do with a slide guitar and have some fun.